Hi, Shell Point. I'm Christy Skinner, your Senior Director of Healthcare Services, joined today by Paul Tyson, Director of Dining, and we're bringing you another edition of Healthy Eating. So, Paul, thank you so much for joining me thank today. You for having me. We're thrilled to be talking to you about whole foods and how good they are for you. Whole foods are great for you for diet and nutrition reasons, and whole foods are also statistically known to reduce obesity and chronic diseases. So today we're gonna to be talking to you about squash. Squash is one of the most versatile foods available throughout the world and is packed with health and benefits too. Squash is known as gourds and is a very interesting fruit, but is often known as a vegetable. It encompasses so many foods, including pumpkins, zucchinis, courgettes, and marrows. North America simplified the categories into two places, winter and summer squash. Squash has very rich nutritional profile that is large amounts of vitamin A with a significant amount of vitamin C, E, and B. Also rich minerals including magnesium, potassium, copper, phosphorus, calcium, and iron. It is also a very good source of cardinoids and other important inflammatory and antioxidant compounds. So how do all of these impact your overall health? With the vitamin C and magnesium and other antioxidants, squash helps to neutralize free radicals that are associated with cancer. The high levels of vitamin A in squash help boost your overall body's immune system. The magnesium and potassium present in squash provide a very effective defense line for your cardiovascular health. Potassium is a vasodilator, which relaxes the tension in the blood vessels, allowing increased blood flow and reduced stress to the heart. A single serving of squash has 400% of your daily requirement of vitamin A, due to the amount of beta carotene found in it. Beta carotene is an antioxidant compound that is essential for good eye health. Good eye health in beta carotene has been connected with reduced chances of macular degeneration, cataracts, glaucoma, and other vision issues. So unbelievable things that squash can do for you. I didn't realize when I was eating zucchini and all of the other things that squash is in forms of that it would be good for my heart, my eyes, and my overall health like it is. So Paul, we'll bring the questions to you because I'm, I'm sure you're <laughs> sitting here going, huh, I just thought I was eating squash because it was good tasting. I didn't realize all of the impacts to my overall health. Look, lucky us. I know. So <laughs> being that it is so versatile, how do you know how to pick out a good squash? And especially because there are so many different forms of this fruit that we just discovered that it is. So as you mentioned, there's two main categories. So there's a winter squash and then there's a summer squash. So the winter squash appropriately named is because it has a longer shelf life and stays uh, it stays well in cool, dry places for a very long time, hence lasting out through the winter. Okay. Um, so winter squash and summer squash. When a winter squash is ripe, you can scratch the rind, uh, but not, it's not puncture. You can't poke through it, but it's, it's enough where you can make a mark on it with your nail, but not enough to go through it. So that's how you'd kind of know. Uh, simply cut the squash from the vine with a sharp knife uh, or pruners, but you want to leave about two inches of the stem still intact and that'll help through the process of, of it becoming more ripe. So okay. that's, uh, that's where we're at with the picking process as okay. far as squashes are concerned. Who knew? I, I've <laughs> never even gone to pick a squash before and I did not even understand the process. I just go to the grocery store, I look at all the different gourds that are there and I get overwhelmed. So I just pick the one that looks the biggest and think, well that'll get me the furthest with what I need to eat and I figured that was the way that you pick them. So there's quite a science to figuring out what Absolutely. squash you pick and how you do it. Absolutely, and we have a, lo a lot of local farms out in Alva and, and LaBelle areas where you can go and pick some of these things yourselves, the strawberries, the pears, stuff like that. So. There's professionals out there. We have a farmer's market that produce company come That's in right. and they have some of our stuff as well. So we have a few different outlets that you can use to, to get your fresh produce if That's you can't cut them yourself. That's true. I have found that when I do go to the grocery store and I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to certain fruits and vegetables, especially when I'm trying something new mm -hmm. or feeling a little adventurous, that they will help you to figure out how to pick a good fruit or vegetable. True. So there are some fun facts about squash. Can mm -hmm. you please share some of those with us? So the fun fact about, the first fun fact about squash, it's actually related to melons. So it's in the same family as a honeydew or a watermelon, which is pretty interesting because you don't, you don't really uh, accompany the two. You know, a watermelon and a squash, two totally different things. Right. But no matter what, at the end of the day, they're related. So that, that's kind of a fun fact. 
Um, winter squash, like I said, it gets its name because it's a longer uh, shelf life. It lasts longer, so it adjusts to the winter. So that's another fun uh, thing. And then lastly, the entire squash, from leaves to shoots to flower seeds to fruit, the entire thing is edible, so you can eat all of it. So that's also very interesting. And of course, as we know as we go through these, that the stems of some of these fruits and vegetables pack the most nutri uh, nutrients and vitamins. So that whole squash from, from top to bottom is edible. So that's pretty neat as well. That are, I always love the fun facts. I mm -hmm. think those are the things that we can quiz our residents on to see if they're really paying attention to the series as we go along. Sure. So I always, when I meet a new chef, um, and when I've interviewed chefs in my career, because it's been 20 years in healthcare, and how do you find somebody that's really passionate about this industry? What is, what's the most inspiring thing to you as a chef? So I, I latched on to food probably like everybody else did. Um, some of our fondest memories in life are, you know, around the dinner table or those smells of our grandmother's kitchen or our mother's kitchen. Um, events that we went to that the food was really good. Um, food is that thing that we all share between each other. It's uh, between all of humanity. If there's anything that we all do together, it's eat. Mm -hmm. um, and it's brought together so many things and so many families, you know, the, the, all the way down to eating dinner with your family every night and how important that is and in, to the to the world and the way we do things. So I was inspired by the socialization of food. Um, now these days I'm inspired by the health benefits of the food. Yeah. So this is this has brought me full circle. You know, when I started it was desserts and, and lobsters and all the fancy <laughs> stuff that everybody loves. Now I get to enjoy food for what it really is and what it does for us and how it you know, adds to our longevity and, and our basic overall health. So food to me is just, it's daily inspiring to me because it's, there's so many element, elements and levels to it that, that just incorporate everything we do here in life and at Shell Point for that matter. And your type of answer just now is what really is, stands out to me in finding somebody that has a passion for what they do and what brings a talent to Shell Point that we're blessed to have, is, oh, which is you. why I love working with you and why we're thrilled to have you overseeing the assisted living dining, which is a new um, way that we've re-engineered the structure mm -hmm. here at Shell Point. So I think you're gonna bring such a great value to the teams and just inspire and elevate the amount of um, ingenuity and talent that we have in the assisted living environment. And speaking of the assisted living mm. environment, we are here at the Springs mm -hmm. Dining Room, which is absolutely gorgeous. We um, got to reopen the dining room back, I think, in, in the beginning of this year. Correct. And it is just such a wonderful environment to come and dine in. And we are blessed to have Chef Daniel, and he's going to be joining us to tell us about how he's incorporated squash into a couple of his different entree options. And so, Chef Jan Daniel, Yay. thank you so much for joining us. And I'd love for you to tell us about what you've got today and how you incorporated squash into the item that you have to show us. Not a problem. Um, I took uh, spaghetti squash, sauteed it with little Brussels sprouts, give it a little tweak, put a flavor on, topped it off with fresh herbs and a chocolate mole. Delicious. Oh, my goodness. So, this well, looks amazing. That looks wonderful. And how do you think that your residents are receiving the healthy options that you're bringing to the table? I think they, they really enjoy it. I, I think they like to see more of it, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah, they definitely enjoy it. I would agree. I think that um, I get stopped probably almost daily now uh, with this healthy eating edition that we bring to Shell Point. And people are asking, so can you bring more and can you, and more information and, and can it just be a standing edition that we have in each of the dining rooms? I think you're right. I think the residents, it's, now's an ideal time to bring healthy options to our residents and mm -hmm. people are very mindful about how they can be their best version of themselves for as long as possible. So mm -hmm. we encourage you to come to the Springs Dining Room, ask Chef Daniel about having, trying one of his options that has squash in it or any of the healthy options that we have each month for you. And um, we're just thankful to have you on board, to have you, Paul, and to Absolutely. have chefs that can take a simple item like squash, mm -hmm. turn it into a beautiful entree item or a beautiful dessert and create something that I would never be able to innovate on my own and keep you healthy for longer. And that's the goal. So we thank you for joining us today and we invite you to come to all of our restaurants and, and try squash in many different ways. And until next time, stay healthy.